Hello. Well, today's update is pretty much as we expected. Even last week, I think we could have uh, predicted it. There's very little change operationally from last week, indeed from the week before. It's not a zero news day. Um, there are some things I need to update you on, but I will get straight to the point so you can get back to your day. Uh, when it comes to finding new property to invest in, um, we're hopeful that estate agents, they'll be opening up in, in the very near future. Uh, but right now, we still aren't uh, sale agreeing many new properties. There's a few coming through. Last week, we did um, view and sale agree a couple. They're now allocated with clients. Incidentally, uh, the conveyancing process and surveyors getting a survey done, that's all working absolutely as normal. Um, six properties in the last day have completed, but that is a pipeline, majority of the pipe pipeline um, from before the lockdown. So uh, the pipeline is definitely running dry. Um, fix, the business of renovating and maintaining properties. Yesterday's announcement, um, it was the 10th from the Prime Minister, the 10th of May, um, with the instructions that con uh, construction is to, to um, restart, um, was very welcome news. Uh, almost all of our renovations and maintenance jobs have been impacted in some way uh, when it comes to um, uh, just, just keeping things normal. Uh, and to see the green light is a relief for us and for our subcontractors who do want to get back to work. One note of caution though, and um, everybody just needs to be a little bit patient here, this isn't a switch, though most contractors we work with do want to get back. Some are finding some real challenges doing so. Um, there are some going who, who aren't going back because they're they're impacted. Either, some are ill. What only one or two are ill, but uh, um, more often they're coping with somebody else who is either ill or isolating or have got some other issues. Um, getting hold of the materials is a is a challenge as well. Um, we can't drag them back to site, of course. Um, we are giving these people a little bit of a leeway to start to restart. Uh, but we are definitely pushing where we can. Um, when it comes to renting property, um, we're currently renting about 60, 70% of the normal stock, normal level of stock. Um, there's still no in-person viewings. Um, we're working all the time to try and increase these numbers and we have increased the numbers uh, week on week throughout this. Um, we're getting quite good at doing a, a non-person, non, non non-in-person viewing. <laughs> Hasn't even got a name yet. Uh, when it comes to the management, um, the long-term management, that's once the tenancy's started and uh, you've got a tenant, we've got to look after the property, um, we've got to look after the tenant and got to look after the income as well, those three things. Um, call and email volumes are down on normal. They just are, but they are increasing. And for the team that are here, um, it's a very busy time in their home offices. Um, no different whatsoever. Um, just ever so slightly increasing in the uh, in the volume. All the issues are exactly the same. That's pretty much it. Before I go, uh, there's something else we noticed last team uh, last week. The team put up a little uh, box below the uh, below this video, uh, and it was I, I, do you know what? I can't even remember what the wording was, but it was something like for landlords who want to scale up, click here. Um, people who want to build their empire, register your in, in, interest. Now, these videos are not marketing videos. Um, I, I, I don't know <laughs> if they ever could be, or, um, you know, it, it's totally the wrong form, format. If we wanted to do a marketing video, I wouldn't put, put it at uh, the end of a fairly dull, if, uh, <laughs> if essential, um, information video. Uh, however, that single um, box on uh, the, below the video last week uh, created more signups um, more leads, effectively, uh, from landlords um, than any other box ever. We have a piece of software that measures this, uh, and it was quite incredible, completely out of the blue. Um, and I guess, for me, for the team, uh, it's an indication of the things to come when this eases. Um, how quickly will the buy-to-let market recover, if indeed it needs a recovery. Um, maybe we're not talking about the whole of the market, we're just talking about our little corner. But it would seem that uh, you guys, the guys we're talking to, and we're noticing more people other than our core set of landlords are starting to um, tune in as well, are um, really looking forward to the time when we can go out there and, and buy more property. Um, 
so are we. Um, I'll have the team put a similar box down below and we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, for now, that is a uh, pretty plain and simple update. Very similar to last week. Things are um, increasing in volume ever, ever so slightly. All the same issues. Um, and we're looking forward to uh, getting back to work in you know, multiple different ways. Bye for now.